the left part of the next tumbler actually compiles the result and shows some statistical outputs first let's see the first drop down menu the channel it shows all the channels on which ap's are seen and under channel it shows the mac address of the ap so currently there are three ap's operating in channel 1 now why two ap's are in green color and third ap the middle one is green with a lock inside it the ap which are actually supporting encryption will be shown a lock here and the same lock will appear in this section as well the colors of this ap's show the signal strength as a qualitative measure so a red color here shows very low signal a yellow color shows a medium signal a dark green color shows high signal there is one more signal in between a faint green which is a little bit less signal between yellow and green again the lock in the center of this circle shows the ap supports encryption so in channel if we look for some ap if we click on that ap the signal and noise dbms are shown and this is actually a live graph you can see the graph changing for every few seconds the new reading is being plotted this is very important information as if you want to crack the web key you should know in which channel the ap is operating and it will give you some consolidated things another very important reason or another very important implication of this channel information is inter channel or co channel interference if there is lot of interference probably with this view you will be able to find out the cause of that interference if lots of aps are present in channel 1 then it is obvious that the interference in channel 1 will be more and the throughput in channel 1 will be less the next drop down menu is ssid it shows all the ssids which are seen and in another drop down menu to that ssid all the mac addresses which are using that ssid are shown so currently this 7672676 a this ssid is being used by three another aps a between middle ap is actually in gray color so currently it is not active or probably it is far off from here so we are not able to see all the beacons and after a threshold time we have concluded that that ap does not present or that beacons from that ap are not visible from here similarly you will be able to see all the ssids and their particular aps this is one of the interesting features of netstumbler the standard windows based client utility only shows the ssid only shows the ssid is present but it cannot show how many aps are using actually the same ssid this information is very important for wireless troubleshooting as if there is lot of coverage between aps at different areas the clients are bound to face some problems for connection and connectivity the last drop down menu shows the filters you can apply some filters on this aps so if i apply filter encryption off all the open aps are shown notice that there is no lock present here if i choose second filter there is encryption on all the encrypted aps are being listed here if if i click on ess all the aps only will be shown if i click on ibss peer all the ibss or ad hoc connections will be shown currently there is no ad hoc connection cf polable if ap is cf polable if the cfp bit in the beacon is set for any particular ap that particular ap will be listed here if ap support short preamble that particular ap will be shown here the short preamble information is part of the beacon information fixed headers if pbcc is supported the ap will be shown here if the short slot time 
that is 11 G is used by the AP, AP will be again flagged here. And if a and if some of the APs are using some default SSIDs, those APs will be shown here. Again, there is some pre-built database of the default SSIDs. It just compares the present SSID with the pre-built set of SSIDs and it flags it. This is again not a very updated database. Now about the compatibility with drivers. NetStumbler supports prism based cards as well as it supports the Intel Centrino type of cards. Now if in device section it will show all the interfaces which it can able to scan. Now for my Intel 2200BG card it is showing me two interfaces first is Prism 2 and second is NDIS. Always try Prism 2 first only if Prism 2 is not working go for NDIS because Prism 2 is a complete support available. Uh, in case of NDIS drivers the signal strength may not be accurate so do not 100% rely on the signal strength but for actually I had now selected this prism drivers and it is not working so I have to select NDIS in this case. The main usage of network stumbler as I explained was to find out the configurations of AP, what all APs are present, what is the overlapping factor of the AP to find out or to troubleshoot the connectivity problems with the clients and, uh, and also find out the mm, energy to noise or signal to noise ratios from the AP at the point. That is all about this video. Feel free to browse other videos on web cracking, other tools, wireless and wired basic videos and some fun videos on securitytube.net. Thank you.